All right, folks, this is Larry today at Twine. So, we're going to do a little um, caping. We're getting this uh, one here prepped for shrimp. When I finally decide what shrimp I'm going to get. So, right now, we're going to call I said, <clears throat> we'll call this part one. So, the plants I had gotten got a bunch of uh, cardinal plants. And one, because it was a little pricey and wasn't a whole lot to choose from. That's why this is only going to be part one. This is called a red, hang on, let me see, make sure I pronounce this correctly. A hatty red pearl sword. Pretty cool looking. So, like I said, this will be part one of this here because I will be getting more plants. So I think this is going to look right here. I am reserving this spot right here for the sponge filter. I'm going to get some water ready to put in there. And where's my cream? There we go. These cardinal plants, I'm pretty much a few over here and a few over on the other side. Get a nice big one. I could almost break this up, but you know what? Yeah, I'll take one off. But this one's going to go right over here to corner. Why not? Sometimes these work good, sometimes you just get in your way, like they are now, so, whatever, they don't know, they don't know. I'm going to let the back of this black out, I mean, it may very well get changed down the road, you never know. Well, I never know what we're going to do that, because of my Aquarius. Yeah, I haven't decided what um, shrimp. I may look into the Taiwan beads, something like that, or the King Kongs. I always have black King Kongs. They're really kind of dumb. Something really bright. Any suggestions? Gladly accept them. filter head in there too. Back in a second. Alright, so we're doing old school here. Why not, you know? Hey, this one little light up here, I don't know if it's probably going to be bright enough, but it's a nice start. I'll end up doing a 50% water change tomorrow. I'm going to go and get more plants tomorrow. Deadly Saturday. That's the very easy swimmer. Take her home flood. She said we go. Plenty of dog get out too, actually. Yep. Yeah, that's definitely not going to be enough light. But that's okay for the moment. <coughs> I 
got other ways. I got other things I can do for that. But yep, like I said it's a temporary. Well, part one, not temporary. That will definitely be adding more um, plants to the mix. May have seen a bit more substrate too. Get off my rocks. Thank you. But yeah, I'm not going to be buying any um, shrimp for at least a couple months after to less, mm. after February. Yeah, let's say after February, just for some fact. You never know how cold it's going to get here in Ohio. If you live in Ohio, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I like these tools. Sometimes, sometimes they just get in your way. But not in this case. Yeah, we got the floaters, but I ain't worried about them right now. But yeah, most definitely do need forever one. I mean, you're pretty much seeing what I'm seeing as far as brightness goes. Hmm. I don't know, more I'm looking at my. Maybe I won't get any more plants. I may not need to. See how these do here. Give them a month or so. Should give me a good idea. But there it is. Like I said, I'll keep you updated. And anybody got any suggestions on what type of um, shrimp to put in here? I'm all ears. Alright, folks. Later.